For the first time in three years, Cirque du Soleil returns to the Bay Area for a theatrical world of fun, comedy, and powerful performances. Here to discuss more about their upcoming show, Corteo, is the artistic director, Actually, it's Sante Fortunato. Thank you so much, Sante. <laughs> that was wrong in script, but we're going to go with it. Anyways, your name no is worries. Sante Fortunato. Yes. <laughs> Sante, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. This is really exciting because for the first time in three years, Cirque du Soleil is returning here to the Bay Area for the show Corteo. Can you tell us about this show and what people can expect? Yes. This show is a, is a beautiful show. It's a proce procession of uh, the character Maro, and he's... Some moments in the show, is, it's a dream. Sometimes he's reminiscing on past moments of his life. Uh, he's visiting all his friends before he, he says goodbye mm -hmm. for his last time. So it's a, it's, it's a very joyful, um, beautiful show with, obviously, Cirque du Soleil. So there's obviously a lot of awesome acrobatics as well. And mm -hmm. uh, you can't miss it. It's a great show. And for people who have maybe never seen Cirque du Soleil's shows before, I know it's kind of a crossbreed between acting, acrobats, performances. Can you kind of explain to people what they would expect coming into a show if they've never been? Never been. So for, first of all, the huge difference, is we don't have any animals. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we, it's acro, uh, like acrobatics, acting, clowning. But like you said, there's a whole story, a whole theme. Everything's very intertwined, interlaced. Uh, the, there's a lot of thought put into the, the costumes, the set. It's very elaborate. Even the stage is a replica of a, a real cathedral in Europe. And so there's a, there's a lot of, a lot of the, theatrical details that you would maybe see in a musical. Or, mm -hmm. And even all the, the music is, is composed for specifically for each show. So this music is specifically for Corteo, which makes it, I think, very unique from other circus shows. Wow, amazing. So it sounds like there's going to be a little bit of something for everybody in there, yes, no definitely. matter what you're into. Yes. <laughs> and for you, what do you do exactly within the show? So in the show, I do um, the chandelier act, so I'm an aerialist. And then I also do a little bit of hula hoops in the show. And then along with uh, character work and, uh, you know, cues in the show and things, mm -hmm. um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of different fun stuff. And we'll kind of be getting a sneak peek, everybody, of Sante's performance. She's going to be doing a little performance for us here in just a couple of minutes. But what kind of preparation Sante goes into preparing for these kind of shows? Because it's just a lot going on. Yeah, so like I said, it's like, uh, it's a whole... Uh, theme and a storyline and there's a lot of uh, we take acting classes so there's mm -hmm. a lot of intent on like what we're trying to port portray to the audience and all of that is really important the detail is super crucial and important so normally with, within any show there's normally a creation of like it could be a full year and then as well uh, once the show is running we're still you know trying new things sometimes doing workshops we're training throughout the day mm -hmm. and then doing our makeup usually I'd have a one hour warm up before going on stage. Uh, we work out as well. Uh, every, everyone has a little little different preparation depending on what act you do. But but we, we're always uh, trying to keep keep that really good quality and uh, yeah. the artistry there. Oh my goodness! How do you? personally balance that because between working out, acting classes, preparation, it's got to be a lot on one plate, right? Uh, it's all right. I also have a two-year-old. <laughs> like, oh, on top of that, I'm a mom too. Yeah, I'm so a mom no big too. deal. <laughs> well, That's what a lot do of fun. Um, I, I imagine? <laughs> um, where can people watch this upcoming show? Because I know it's coming this weekend. This week at the Chase uh, Center mm -hmm. here in San Francisco. Uh, we premiered yesterday, and we have a show today. Uh, Friday, three Saturday, and two on Sunday. And make sure not to be late, because because <laughs> uh, the procession, the beginning of the show is for me, actually one of the most be beautiful moments of the show. Um, and it really sets the story and the tone of the show. And also, uh, I'm in the, the chandelier act, which is the first act of the show, so don't miss me. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, everybody. Don't miss her. She's the first act in the show. 